And Hurricane Michael is expected to make landfall in about two days, but locally people are preparing right now. This is video of neighbors buying supplies in Columbia County. Action News Jack's Cole Heath picks up our team coverage live in Lake City. And Cole, you've seen a steady stream of people all day stocking up on essentials. Now, we've been out here for several hours now at this Lowe's in Lake City. As you mentioned, it's been a steady stream of people. They are not taking any chances, they tell me. They are getting ready just in case. A brief storm soaked parts of Lake City Monday afternoon. While the first alert weather team says the rain is not part of Hurricane Michael, neighbors here say it could be a taste of what's to come. I'm hoping it doesn't get too, too bad. Dick Vespa is in Columbia County for work from Tallahassee, where his friends are getting ready too. They're hunkering down at the moment. Vespa joins dozens of others, like the Griffiths family I saw at the Lake City Lowe's, stocking up on storm supplies. We heard back uh, back home it's pretty difficult to get uh, you know supplies, so we figured while we were out here we would load up. Items are definitely flying off the shelf. Water, flashlight, rope, batteries. And we're getting full trucks of water. Uh, generators and sand at the end of the day. I spoke with Columbia County Fire and Rescue officials who tell me they will likely activate their emergency operations center Tuesday afternoon. There are no evacuation orders in Columbia County right now, and I'm told no shelters are open here at the moment. Still, families like Betsy Griffiths are loaded up just in case. You just never can be too prepared. Now, I was here in Lake City when Hurricane Hermine hit back in 2016, and I asked neighbors here about it, what they learned, not just during Hermine, but other recent severe weather incidents. Their response, all new at 6. Reporting live in Lake City, Cole Heath, CBS 47 Action News Jacks.